before you come to order for a silent uh, prayer and reflection moment. So if you will uh, be ever so kind as to respect the right of uh, all the people going to pray or to reflect on what we're about to do here tonight. Amen. Can I call the roll? Yeah. Here. 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 I don't think we need to take a session tonight, so that's good. But, uh, Jamie, that puts you up at uh, 1.6. We need to open for a hearing on this. We're open for hearing, yes. So, any school district or charter school wishing to offer remote learning must do so through an adopted ITM or through an AOI pursuant to ARS 15808. House Bill 2862 allows for school districts and charter districts to adopt an instructional time model to meet the instructional hour requirements in ARS 15808 and 15901, which provides flexibility for a school district or charter school to determine the manner in which instructional hours are provided to students. LHUSD will adopt an instructional time model for students in kindergarten through grade six who wish to continue their coursework in school's PLP platform. School, school students may only spend the equivalent of a semester in school's PLP. They must return to brick and mortar school after 18 weeks and spend at least 50% of their school year in brick and, brick and mortar setting. Students participating in the ITM will be required to log in daily to school's PLP and complete work commensurate to the hours required for students in their grade band. Attendance will be tracked using the existing attendance tracking system synergy. If students are not actively participating in the school's PLP platform, during the school day, a guardian will be required to call the school to let appropriate person know that the student is extra. From uh, item two is called in public. I've got one request here from Karen Melvin Jackson. Hi, Karen. Hi, good evening to the Lake Havasu Unified School District Board and uh, Karen Nelson and the directors, and especially uh, Dr. Stone. I'm just here, I just want to give a rousing thank you. Thank you for giving the parents the choice about the whole mask issue this year. Uh, it just warms my heart. <laughs> I will be warning you, though. I'll be watching your agendas. And if there is a problem, I have all the evidence. I have peer-approved uh, double-blind studies. I have everything you need. When, when, if you have any opposition to this. And I also am very excited about your curriculum this year for the entire district. And I'm going to be watching that very carefully, too. So this, I just came here tonight to say thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Karen. 
Up next to our mic up front here is um, Carol. Members of the board, uh, President Madison, uh, directors. I have a lot going on up here with work and everything else, but as the association uh, president, I'm here tonight. One, just to extend my hand to the district to make sure we, um, we are all here for staff and students. I've been fortunate enough to have my conversations with Dr. Stone this week. Most of you, um, I contact the board of uh, often, and um, so we are in close contact. To the public, I just want you to know that we have a great working relationship, and um, we continue to uh, pride ourselves in that relationship with the association and our school district. We are here to uh, really focus on our students and their achievements and support all of our staff members. So, we are off to a great year. I'm telling you, it's Week three and staff is tired, but we are working in a good, positive direction. Um, right now, I have four items I've printed off the governor's uh, website, uh, the most recent things he has uh, posted. So I will be uh, reflecting on that and giving you feedback and letting you know. One was I know I had a parent immediately contact me regarding the most recent of the 163, $163 million to increase. Uh, Dr. Stone and I already had a conversation. Our school district does not, unfortunately, we um, will not be able to uh, receive that. It's federal funding for students that, uh, for districts that are underfunded, and uh, currently we are at a capacity of funding. But um, I do good, and I thank you for all your services every day, and I um, look forward to a great year. Thank you. That brings us to item number four, which is our consent agenda. Do you have any talk you want to do on the consent agenda, or do you just want to get it to move in? I move to accept the consent agenda as presented. I'll second. Okay, no uh, need for discussion. Terry? Yes. 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 And that brings us to uh, item number six. First is approval of qualified evaluators for the 21 22 school year. Mrs. Bittman. Mr. President, members of the board, it is recommended that the governing board approve the following administrators and certified staff as qualified evaluators for the 21 22 school year. You can see their names listed. The above individuals have received the necessary training as required by ALS 15 537 Section D and are delegated the authority to issue written preliminary notices of an adequacy of classroom performance. Okay, I'll accept the motion on um, 6 1. I move to adopt 6.1 as presented. I second. Okay. Yes. 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 And 6.2 is your again, Mr. Thank you. Mr. President, members of the board, it is recommended the governing board approve compensation to staff by way of supplemental stipends during the 2022 fiscal year. Policy GCBC requires that the governing board approve the extra duty pay schedule annually. Certain assignments require extra responsibility or extra time over and above that required of other staff members who are in the same position on the basic salary schedule. When such supplemental assignments require time and responsibility beyond that expected of staff members, they shall be rewarded with extra compensation paid through local, state, and or federal funds. Assignments that are to be accorded extra compensation shall be designated by the board. The master stipend list was sent electronically to the board prior to the meeting. Okay, I'm looking for a motion on 6.2. I'll make a motion to approve 6.2 as presented. I second. I just have one question to make sure I understand what some of the stipends go for. So um, right now you probably have heard that our district is um, 
very understaffed when it comes to substitute teacher availability. So would stipends be available for teachers who cover another class in lieu of a substitute teacher? Yes, we do. Um, at the different levels, we do have um, a stipend in there for middle and high school, um, for elementary. That doesn't exist at this time, but yes, we are using internal coverage and compensating those teachers for, for those extra duties. Yes. 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 And before we get to six point three, if you're here from the high school, raise your hand for me. Thanks for being good civic students. And six point three, this is Walter. Mr. President, members of the board, it is recommended the governing board approve in two Y. LLC as a sole source and exclusive copyright owner and publisher of Unique Learning System products not to exceed ten thousand dollars. Unique Learning System, referred to as ULS curriculum, is a supplemental program used to address the needs of special education students with cognitive impairment or intellectual disability, requiring alternative core instruction. ULS allows students to access the instructional materials virtually and supports teachers in being able to better prepare progress monitor during distance or remote learning. N2Y is the only authorized commercial provider of ULS and customer support for implementation training of the ULS program grades pre-K through 12 transition. This will be paid for with the funds from the IDEA grant budget or our mix budget. This has been approved by the business department and will not exceed $10,000. I move to approve 6.3 as presented. I'll second that. Any further discussion? Yes. 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 Mrs. Walter, you've got a lot on the agenda tonight. I do, and I'm trying to make the handle of the computer, which isn't cooperating at this time, but you know, that shows up the territory, I guess. I'll push on 6.4 when you're ready. Mr. President, members of the board, it is recommended that the board approve the Quality First Child Care Scholarship Programs provided within the Twin Valley of the Sun's United Way and Lake Havasu Unified School District of Alliance and Spoke Tree Developmental Preschool. The Lake Havasu Unified School District Governing Board has previously given approval for participation in the community pre kindergarten programs the first things first program. Valley of the Sun United Way is the direct recipient of the first things first funding and annual preschool scholarships are awarded through the first things first quality first via United Way and to participate in eligible programs. Pending final approval, this agreement will be in effect from July 1st of 2021 through June 30th, 2022 with consecutive yearly renewal options pending our quality first star rating and availability of first things first funding. This has been reviewed by legal. I'm looking for uh, questions or a motion on 6.4. I'm going to approve 6.4. I second. I do have one question. Because this um, is retroactively, goes back to July 1st of this year, does that open up more scholarships for students? Like, are there people who are waiting for these monies? that haven't received it yet and this will open up more money or is it a different scenario than what I'm describing? Um, yeah, it's a different scenario. They actually allocate um, our scholarships at the end of the school year and depending on our availability to fill them, they generally have a couple months to get those positions filled. In the event that we do not, they will be vacated and awarded to another community provider. Yes. 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 Ms. Walter, you're up again. 6.5. Mr. President, members of the board, it is recommended that the governing board approve the contract with Pro Care Therapy for speech therapy services through a virtual platform for the 2021 22 school year 
not to exceed $115,000. The district is obligated to ensure that the provision of related services for eligible students to receive a free appropriate public education for students as required under the Individuals with Disabilities Education Act, known as IDEA. Our district has been unsuccessful at recruiting a full-time speech language pathologist to fill a critical full-time speech therapist position that was vacated by the subcontractor. ProCare Health is an approved vendor under the SAFE contract RFP 21-25. We are requesting approval to contract with ProCare Health for speech health therapy services at $75 per hour. Funds from the MNO budget will be used to pay for services. This has been reviewed by legal and by our business department. The RFP process is what we do when we go out to get the best price for services. It's not a sealed bid process because we have specific criteria that have to be met and we're able to identify which are the best vendors to meet those needs. I think it's just good that we're going to get speech therapy back in our district because it's been so hard to fill. It has been very challenging. We did spend several months actively recruiting, but we weren't able to fill that position, so we were actually fortunate to find um, a qualified speech therapist, and we also have an, a speech language pathology assistant to assist with that. So they're going to get quality services. So I'm looking for a motion. I move to adopt this point five as presented. No second. Yes. 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 And that brings us back to ADA again for 6.6. .6. Mr. President, members of the board, it is recommended that the governing board approve the purchase of Soul Source Star resource and training for implementation not to exceed $30,000. The district governing board approved the purchase and implementation of this supplemental program for special education program in 1920 which was delayed due to the COVID pandemic. Initial staff training was facilitated this summer. We are requesting approval of the purchase of contracted coaching services to assist with the implementing of the program successfully with fidelity. The STAR program is known for strategies for teaching based on autism research. Eric Luce Bopko approved in 2015 is an evidence-based and research-validated program. The ABA Applied Behavior Analysis Instructional Methods a discrete trial training, pivotal response training, and teaching functional routines from the instructional base of this comprehensive program for children with autism and intellectual impairment. The STAR program includes detailed lesson planning, teaching materials, data system, and a curriculum-based assessment for teaching in the six curricular areas of receptive language, expressive language, spontaneous language, functional routines, academics, and play and social skills. Questions or motions? I need to approve 6.6. .6. I'll second that. Yes. 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 And Mrs. Walter, since you're already our uh, favorite speaker tonight. 6.7. Mr. President, members of the board, it is recommended that the board approve the contract with Bride Skill Pediatric Care for the 21 22 school year for nursing services not to exceed $40,000. The district is obligated to ensure the provision of services for eligible students to receive a free appropriate public education for students requiring related services as required in the Individuals with Disabilities Education Act. A request for a proposal bid process was issued as part of the AV SAFE contract number 210225 for nursing services. Bright is one of the approved vendors on the contract working in our region, able to meet our needs. Funds from the IDEA basic grant and this budget will be used to pay for services. This has been reviewed by purchasing. Questions or motions on 6-7? I make a motion to approve 6.7 as presented. I second. I'd like to just say one thing. Uh, I just uh, want to give a shout out to Ms. Walker and her staff, just because um, if, you, if you've been following the, 
it kind of gets lost a little bit sometimes in, in, in the paragraphs because these are all uh, funded by grants, the ideas grants and, and stuff like that. Uh, those take a lot of work to get and uh, are coming from funds that are not like, uh, you know, are not uh, taxpayer funds. So it's something to know that we are getting uh, money because their staff is working so hard. So I wanted to give a shout out. Thank you. Yes. 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 Absolutely yes. And I get you out of it. <laughs> That's over to Mr. Mayor. <laughs> Mr. President, members of the board, it's recommended the board approve vouchers for July of 2021. In the amount of one million three hundred seventy thousand two hundred ninety-one dollars and eighty-three cents, and student activity funds for K through twelve for the month of June, as well as auxiliary funds for the month the month of June. And there's a note there that vouchers for June will be presented after the encumbrance period, which ends at the end of this month. So we anticipate having June vouchers, uh, which would also provide end of year totals uh, at the next meeting. Okay, questions or motions? I move to approve item 6.8. No second. Yes. 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 And that brings us to um, informational. Thank you. I just first wanted to thank all our civics class for coming. Um, I'm going to talk to the high school. They should have more kids coming to board meetings. This is way more fun to have all of you in the audience. So we hope you enjoyed your time. Um, I also wanted to point out that this community continues to be very generous to our school system. Um, for this month, the donations totaled $20,000. Um, the Athletic Booster Club for Lake Havasu High School, our K-12 Foundation, um, the Havasu Masonic Lodge, number 64, the Havasu Clothe Child, um, Graphic Concepts, and then Delta Kama, Kappa Gamma, and Canny Project, and Cherry Shoes. They've all made donations to our schools, whether that be clothing, um, backpacks and school supplies, or a monetary donation that principals can use for things that they need in our schools. So we greatly appreciate the support of our community. I also wanted to say for the first three weeks of school, um, I've been out in the classrooms and have seen some amazing teaching going on. Um, they've been using core knowledge lessons, they've been using Singapore math with the training that we provided to all of our staff, and it, is, it has been a joy to watch all of the things that are going on, even when we know that people are very tired, as Mrs. Nowakowski shared, and they're just, but they dove in and are doing everything they need to do to make sure the curriculum's in place, that they're supporting the students um, in their class. Our principals are working overtime, some of them even subbing in classrooms when absolutely necessary, um, just to make sure that those classrooms stay open and, and that we can all keep working together. And I just wanted to say thank you to our students, our teachers, our parents, our staff members, and our board, um, really for coming together and making the opening of school very successful and hoping that we continue um, down the same path for the rest of the year. Any uh, thing from the board? I just have one thing. There was an email that was shared with our entire board and our superintendent um, from a parent asking that we um, provide kind of like a dashboard so that parents know how many positive cases we've had in our schools as the years progress or as the year progresses. And I thought that that might be something that we could talk about at a future meeting because there's probably some pros and cons, and I just thought it might be worth discussing. Do we have any more calls from the public? Okay. And so now we have the communications. Board suggestions for future agenda items. And press the meeting with any clarifying questions. That brings us down to item 10, which is adjournment. Everybody feel like getting out of here?
I will make a motion to adjourn. I'll second. Yes. 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 Sure, let's get it done.